Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, everyone. It's probably not morning when you're watching this, but it is an absolutely stunning and wonderful morning for me. I mean, look at that sun. And I am on a beach. It's been months since I have managed to get out and explore a beach of any type. And today I get to explore my wonderful beach back where I grew up again. As you can see, we are not on the sandy shore. No, we are on the sandy shore. Didn't get that right. As you can see, we are not on the rocky shore. We are in fact on a very, very sandy shore, given that it's all sand. And uh, we are going to see what we can find. So, a year ago, almost to this day, give or take a day or two, I came out here and explored and filmed and showed you guys what you could find on a, a sandy shore, on a sandy shore vlog. But the good thing about sandy shores are, is that they change almost every day because this isn't as stable as rock because it's sand. Beach is because it's sandy sh a sandy shore. Every time you come down here, it's something slightly different. Sand's always moving. and the tide will change and form and every day almost when I was a kid I could come down here and expect to find something different. I'm slightly intrigued since I don't get to come down here very often anymore, pretty much this once a year kind of thing. Then what, how different is this whole environment one whole year on? And so today is a bit of a rock pulling vlog but it's also a bit of, a bit of curiosity for me. So we are going to explore exactly where we explored this time last year you know not too many markers but i kind of know this beach so i kind of know where i'm going and we're going to see what we find and uh, uh, this might be a spoiler i don't know i am literally filming this as i got to the beach but sandy shores tend to have some weird weird creatures on it and that is what i'm particularly interested in so i'm going to make a bet and hopefully touch wood I'm not jinxing it. We're gonna find some weird stuff today, so stay tuned for weird stuff that isn't me. Although I'm weird. I just can't go over today, can you? We're probably going to get a thousand million shots of this, but I just can't stop looking at it. It's just so pretty. There's no one here. A few people on the beach back there, but it's just me and the sea. Yes. Just the way I like it. <laughs> Is it oyster? Can you guys spot the crab? There's always stuff hiding on sandy shores that are small and don't want to get eaten. When you get exposed by the tide, I mean look how many square meters, how many almost miles of this beach is exposed. And so the key in a sandy shore is always to be blended in, to be hidden, and that means you need keen eyes, or, which helps, the microscope mode on my Olympus Tough camera because there is a teeny tiny crab who just blends in so perfectly which I'm going to show you now
have to say, as gorgeous as this sun is, it's making it very, very difficult to film because it casts such a long and low shadow. So everything I'm going to film is in shadows. So just so you know that behind the scenes, I am trying to do this to film everything. And I'm looking rather idiotic. And the seagulls are judging me, but I don't care. For years, I thought this thing that grew on my beach at home that I'd never seen anywhere else, a really beautiful type of seaweed. I wondered why I hadn't seen them in any ID books and I never really remembered to go home and like look up what it was. I kind of just thought that one day I would read something or see in a book and be like, oh, that's that seaweed that I find on the beach at home and haven't really seen anywhere else. And I just got the macro lens out on my camera with the little lens to go on my phone because I thought, oh, well, it'd be nice to see what this looks like up close. And it's not a seaweed. It's actually an animal because this is a colony of hydroids, which um, all buds together to form this, this awesome thing. Look at that for quality film. I don't remember geese being a common uh, seabird. There are so many geese. They are so noisy as well. Because there's so many geese. All of them. All of the geese. Oh, look at all the geese. 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 Every time I wish I had a better camera that could record the absolutely insane amount of birds we get here on the Isle of Sheppey. But this camera won't do anywhere near close to justice. And every time I go to say hello to them, they, quite rightly so, uh, decide that uh, humans are not worth their time and fly off and I don't want to disturb them. So, I just, I'll appreciate it from afar and I'll tell you guys that there's some cool birds here. I'd just like to note as well that it is winter so we have lost a lot of the small mobile life in april uh i think yeah i did come down here in april last year you walk out and everything and or something i can't remember everything is zooming about these little tiny creatures made of sand made of sand <laughs> these little tiny creatures all made for sand to blend in are darting and zipping everywhere we've got flatfish gobies shrimps all of these different types of species but in winter it's they've either grown up and moved out to sea or they've not survived and there's not a lot of that little darting life like normally i'll be walking along and just see hundreds if not thousands of these darting creatures and because it's winter we're not finding any of that so the species that we are going to find are going to be the ones that are kind of like crabs and barnacles and oysters and things with shells or things that make a bit more protection so that they have survived a bit better during uh, summer and also they're kind of here to stay they're not going to just say things that live on the sandy shore have to be masters of camouflage and that includes anemones Most of the knowledge I gained 
from of marine biology before I became a marine biologist uh, was probably gained by looking at tyres. There are a good many tyres on this beach that have been sunk and will not move and I always used to put my arm in and have a feed around to find lots of crabs and stuff but they're looking a bit sorry for themselves now and they're all a bit gunked up so not much is living in them. But still a good shout to look around them. Good old bit of uh, man-made surface, man-made protection. Plain. Hello little one, hello little one, oh you are so pretty, who's a pretty little crab, who's a pretty little crab, who's a pretty little crab. This is who I spent my childhood trying to catch these little guys, I just think these crabs are the coolest. These are the only big type of crabs I think you find on this beach and it tends to mean, I don't know why, but they're a bit more aggressive than normal common shore crabs. Normally, these guys would like to run, but on this beach, these guys like to show them who's boss and uh, come with the tremendously awesome crabtitude, which is crab attitude. But you are just the prettiest blowing bubbles of me. Blowing bubbles of me? You stop because I said you blow bubbles? Yes, you're like, hello, I want to dance. Oh, you're so cool. I love crabs so much. You're so cute as you are, look at your new eyes. You're the cutest. You're the cutest. Some of these tubes have been uh, washed up. So these are the tubes that these sandworms and they are really quite impressive they like I'm squeezing that pretty decently and it's not coming apart like these can withstand quite a bit and they are actually quite beautiful with all of the little bits of shelling quite amazing really Let's see what's been left in this, shall we? Pretty much just soft mud, if I'm honest. I'm gonna end the vlog here for today. I had a great time. I was just so wonderful being outside and getting to explore and I think we learned some cool stuff. We definitely learned that. Winter, no go for anything that moves except for geese, where geese will win. And there's a lot of them that have now disappeared. Um, we've learned that anything with a shell is going to do great in winter. Tons of barnacles, tons of uh, uh, tiny crabs. We even found a, a big crab and uh, oysters and mussels and all of those sort of things, tons of them, sandworms, always here all year, nice and consistent, they're good, they've got a nice protective tube to keep them here, to keep the sandbags here, which means that there is a variety of life, and uh, yeah, but compared to summer, definitely a lot less species, 
but an equally enjoyable day i've had a blast i hope you guys have enjoyed watching me explore this wonderful winter beach with my lovely fluffy hat as a uh, to keep me warm and I hope have a great week guys i will catch you next week for another video bye guys for every video from now on that involves me going outside and going to the beach i am going to end with doing a three minute beach clean and just film what i pick up during those three minutes so please join me in doing so uh, from now on if you go to the beach and just spend three minutes just doing a bit to clean up